Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 15th day of February 2021, wanted to follow up on something we've been following really closely here, and that's been the American Eagle 2021 one ounce silver proof coin. And, um, you know, we know they got off to a rocky start, no doubt about it. I mean, it went uh, unavailable within 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 5 minutes, depending on who you talk to, because this is the um, as they say here, after 35 years, this is the final version of the silver proof coin with its original heraldic eagle reverse tails design. It's the last year of it. 35 years later, it's ending and it's going to be replaced by the soaring eagle, I believe. Um, anyway, it just gets a little bit worse. So, um, not going to share that with you just yet, but it does get worse. It says here, Monday morning brief for February 15, 2021, a not so great start. Yep. And it says here, the, uh, well, it's only February 11 as I write this, and collectors are already upset with the United States Mint for its 2021 numismatic product offerings. The proof 2021 West Point minted American Eagle silver dollar went on sale at noon Eastern time on February 11th, both as a single coin and in the 2021 congratulations set. This coin is to be the last of its kind with the original reverse design. Introduced in 1986, a new design will be introduced later in the year. Both products went to currently unavailable status within a few minutes of the start of sales and a remind me button was added to both product pages in case more examples of the items become available later. Okay. Oh. The product limit for the single coin was 327,440 units or coins with a household purchase limit of 99 coins. The congratulations set has no product or household limits. The mintage limit for the coin itself is unlimited meaning that more could be offered to mint customers in other products later on in the year. This is where it gets more interesting, even more interesting. So, within a few minutes of the coins going on sale and then becoming unavailable, readers began contacting CoinWorld with complaints about the fast sellout. In quotes, if the products are truly sold out at this time, customer dissatisfaction is understandable. The American Eagle Silver Dollar, in all of its finishes and forms, is one of the most popular coins the Mint has ever offered to its customers. Remember that. Some Mint customers are already upset with the Mint for its production of small quantities of 2021 American Eagle Silver Bullion coins at the San Francisco Mint and Philadelphia Mint to supplement West Point Mint production. Mint officials made it easy for its authorized purchasers, the only entities authorized to buy coins from the Mint, to identify the origins of the monster boxes in which the coins are shipped to their purchasers. Even though the bullion coins are indistinguishable since none have a mint mark, most, if not all, of the Philadelphia and San Francisco mint coins were likely shipped to grading services for certification as being the products of a specific facility. And everybody always wonders, what's the difference? If it's not in a slab, there is no difference. It's it, The only difference is the slab. So just remember that. It's all about that slab. Some people are into them, some aren't. For the authorized purchasers of the grading services, the low mintage coins translate into fast profits since the grading services make money through their cert certification fees and the sellers can tack on premiums not found on the more abundant West Point mint strikes. Many collectors are completists, okay? They want one of every version of the coin they can specialize in. Uh, for the American Silver Eagle dollar, that used to mean no more than two coins per year, a bullion strike and a proof strike. But then the mint began introducing limited edition pieces like the proof 1995 West Point minted American Eagle Silver Dollar, new finishes like a reverse proof, regular proofs uh, from more than one mint, San Francisco, and the privy marked coin with member of 2020, uh, with low mintages, high demand, and huge profits for dealers. What once was a manageable collection mutated into something many collectors, especially those with limited budgets, eventually could not afford. It says here, we have long held that mint uh, should not be producing and selling manufactured rarities that ultimately benefit a few to the detriment of many. Many collectors, I suspect, would agree with that position. Uh, it is too soon to tell when or if additional quantities 
of the proof 2021 American silver dollar might become available again. Until then, collectors unable to acquire one or more of these coins will continue to feel betrayed by the United States Mint once again. Let us hope that the coin will be made available in quantities sufficient to meet the demand from all Mint customers. That last paragraph is the kicker that I wanted to kind of explore on. So, they, you know, obviously that says that, you know, they want more to become available again. You know, it might become available again. Well, it just so happens. Um, oh, I'm also, I'm also going to put this up, um, a link, excuse me, to this. And that's what gave me the idea with the red X. I thought that was really cool. So I used it. Thank you, Coin Week, for the idea. Um, but some folks have been getting cancellation emails. So they've they've bought on the day at uh, noon or 12.05 or 12.10, um, whatever it was, before it sold out, got the confirmation email. And then four days later... Um, the order was canceled for the um, West Proof. I mean, the, the 2021 West Point Proof. I just, I mean, this is unbelievable. So they're getting, people are getting emails saying that, even though they got a confirmation email, mind you, they're saying that these emails say that this coin is no longer available and that possibly a customer service representative or a supervisor will call them to explain things um, a little bit more in detail as to why um, they have a cancellation, even though they have a confirmation. And that got me to thinking, well, oh boy, um, you know, imagine all these people here on eBay. Um, and I'm talking little guys here. All right. That got the confirmation. That's what it looks like. Your order, you know, has been confirmed. Well, people are getting this confirmation and they're getting cancellations also. And those just started coming out today, the 15th of February. So be mindful of that. If you do purchase from a, um, one of these folks that has, hey, confirmation here, or maybe just one listed, I would be careful of that. I think the only people that could probably deliver this particular product, and I hate to say to go to the secondary market, but I don't believe this coin is coming back. Because if it were, if this coin were coming back, there would be no cancellation emails. They would be back ordered, or, um, you know, it just, it, it it just doesn't make any sense why they would get canceled orders. It doesn't make any sense. I believe these are done. That's it. That's all you can get. And if the getting's good, I would get to these um, sooner than later. Because once they figure it out, these are not going to be $139 anymore. And I would probably go for the raw myself. But that's just me. And, I, and I'd stick with the big boys, the uh, you know, on eBay. That way you're guaranteed more likely to get it than somebody who just says i've got the confirmation because you know these big boys they buy the monster boxes okay think about that and they've only sold this money and graded that many so be careful out there who you buy from right now even though it does say confirmed people who have confirmed emails are finding out that they do not get um this wonderful last coin of the heraldic eagle i mean it's just unbelievable this is unprecedented i don't think this has ever happened in the mint's history but then again you never know. Um, it's just so random. And so it's just, it, I, I'm speechless. You know, one of the persons was talking about how the customer service agent, you know, was very rude to them and ended up hanging up on them. And I'm just like, wow, that's just, that's so regrettable. You know, and nobody should be treated like that for asking a simple question like, well, why, why did my order get canceled? You know, that's pretty simple. Why did my order get canceled? So I think that a lot of people are going to be asking that question, not only to themselves, but directly to the United States Mint probably soon. So they could have a customer service nightmare on their hands potentially here if they don't already. Um, gosh, I feel bad for everybody involved. It just, oh, what a what a bummer. It just really is awful, awful time right now. Um, I hope they're able to... Um, no, I mean, I hope they're able to not can't keep canceling these orders. And what's weird, if they do keep canceling these orders, why do they keep going on sale at almost 7.30 in the morning? That's odd, too. So, oh, um, that's all I want to talk about that. It's kind of, I feel bad for people, and it kind of bums me out. So, um, and I'm not usually a bummed out person, so... <laughs>
So um, I apologize for that. Uh, I have empathy for people and uh, I can really feel it today, uh, this afternoon and evening. So apologize for coming through the mic. Uh, but I wanted to show you this here. This is the last thing I wanted to show you. Boom. This is that congratulations set, P Proof 70 graded. Um, remember this? The other video, it was $999. Well, they lowered it by 400 and one of them sold for that price right there, $599 for that congratulations set first releases. So, oh man, huh? That's incredible. This is really incredible. And those sold out within a minute. So it's just, it's just a wild ride we're on. And, um, you know, I guess if, if, you know, we're only in the beginning of the year. Okay. And it, it probably felt terrible that you didn't get one, but this year is going to have a lot of opportunities for us to get some really cool coins. So you didn't get one, you know, all right, that sucks. I get it. Um, you can get it on the secondary market still, albeit at a higher price. That sucks. I know it. And, and that's, that's what we try and avoid here. We, you know, I want you to get in at the ground level at the rock bottom price every time. But if you can't, you know, I apologize, but I will show you the way to get a really good price on the item still. And I, and I give you my good, uh, my opinion on what's good, uh, who might be more reputable. And, um, you know, we got a lot of cool stuff coming out this year. So let's stay positive. Let's stay focused on what's going on. Let's keep our head in the game because, you know, studies show that if we get upset, and this is true deal, if we get upset, we kind of lose our mind. Literally, our IQ points drop. So let's not do that. Let's not get upset. Let's just regroup, reassess, and then refocus on what's important. Sound fair? Sounds fair. All right, folks, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.